Hi, my name's James Probst. I'm with Test Gauge. I was invited here by Evansville Water Utilities to help explain compliance requirements uh, by the state for their customers. What you're looking at here are two different backflow devices you will commonly find on irrigation systems. This particular backflow is a reduced pressure principle backflow preventer. I know that's a mouthful, but this backflow device protects your family's drinking water from backflow contamination that can cause severe damage to you and your family. It's a public health safety issue, so make sure you have your backflow preventer tested every year. A certified backflow tester is the expert you need to call. They can be found at the state's list of backflow testers, or you can call your local water utility and they can help you find one. What we have here is a backflow device that is no longer protecting your system adequately. You may notice in your house or outside of your house there is a backflow device that's having water that's leaking out of it. That is an indication that this backflow device is not working properly. It's really important that you contact a state certified backflow tester immediately and have them come out and test your backflow device or even replace or repair it. When you have your backflow test done, you'll notice that there'll be water. A lot of the backflow testers will conduct your backflow test in a very short time frame, usually taking only about 10 minutes. Don't be surprised if you find water laying on the ground after your backflow tester is left. That only means that he did his job properly. What I have here is a backflow test form that must be submitted to Evansville Water Utilities whenever a backflow tester comes out to test your backflow device. You'll notice there's pertinent information on here that has to be completed by the tester. You have the customer name, you have the customer address, and the location of that backflow device on your property. This tester will take care of all the paperwork for you when he completes it, and he will be required to send that to the Evansville Utility.